हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द क्रिकेट नेक्स्ट यूट्यूब चैनल इंडिया वर्सेज इंग्लैंड डे थ्री इन हैदराबाद एंड वाटर रोलर कोस्टर ऑफ अ डे दिस डे हैज सीन एवरी थिंग फ्रॉम द बिगनिंग टिल द एंड इंडिया स्टार्टेड इन अ वेरी एवरेज मैनर फॉलोड बाई इंग्लैंड ग्रेट स्टार्ट विद द बैट देन दे फॉल्टोड इन द मिडल फेज बट देन दे अगेन पिकड अप टूवर्ड्स द लास्ट फेज ऑफ द डे कर्टिसी ओली पोप्स great great brilliant century and a very gritty knock uh, on this pitch and he still batting he still uh, on the crease and he'll resume batting tomorrow but uh, this has been as i said a roller coaster day properly i'll take you through whatever happened today from the morning session till the last session um, ravindra jadeja and akshar patel again they started batting today in the morning session um, Jadeja got out first on 87 off uh, 180 balls, seven fours, two sixes. Uh, then uh, Bumrah came out to bat and Golden Duck, and then Akshar Patel uh, got out on 44 off just 100 balls. And uh, India could only manage 436 at the loss of 10 wickets in 121 overs. And Uh, the pick of the ballers from the England bowling lineup shockingly was Joe Root because uh, he's not he's not a uh, full time spinner he's a part time spinner and they already ha- had three front line spinners who were not that effective because Joe Root bowled 29 overs the most overs uh, from the entire bowling lineup he gave away just 79 runs at an economy of 2.70 and he picked up four wickets just one shy of uh, another fifer we all remember the fifer he took in Ahmedabad in the last time England came to India for a test series and even this time around uh, Stokes had to rely on Joe Root uh, more because he was a uh, bowling really really well then uh, england came out to bat and zack crawley and ben duckett really gave a great start uh, to the england uh, lineup 45 for 1 in 9.2 overs they were playing their shots they were not uh, stopping themselves from expressing themselves rather on the on the pitch and then uh, zack crawley uh, got out oli pope came in he he started well he uh, again uh, showed respect to the bowlers uh, rotated a strike and then uh, the the wickets fell in a hurry and again it came down to ben fox uh and oli pope uh, towards the end they built a great partnership between themselves uh, ben fox unfortunately got out on 34 of 81 balls uh, whereas oli pope uh, scored uh, a century here he completed his century and uh, it was a great in all as i said it, it as of now he has played 208 balls he is on 148 Uh, 17 fours, no sixes. So you can see, uh, even though he was aggressive, uh, he played his reverse sweeps, he played his dill scoops, he played his sweeps. Uh, but there was not even a single six in his innings. So he made sure that uh, his aggression was also measured, and he d- he didn't take any unnecessary risk. Although uh, he did uh, create a chance when Akshar Patel dropped him. but uh, apart from that uh, he was playing risk free and he really really played a lot of good shots for that 148 that he has scored uh, he is right now batting with rehan ahmed who has faced 31 balls and he is batting on 16 runs even this partnership is beginning to hurt india england as of now is 126 runs ahead of india they still have four wickets in their kitty and they'll come tomorrow on day 4 and if if they somehow manage to score 80 odd runs more from here 200 anything about 200 uh, can be a psychological factor can be a psychological edge uh, for the england team so all in all we are all set for the day 4 now uh, day 3 has been blockbuster proper roller coaster as i said and day 4 hopefully has a lot for in store for us and we'll have to wait and see what happens in this match which team will take the match away until then please do subscribe to the cricket next youtube channel and hit the bell icon thank you so much Oh, 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 oh,